at the medical center. We loved our first couple of days on the Virgin Voyages Valiant Lady. But after mostly relaxing, I wanted to do something more active. So I was excited to score a spot in the extremely limited bungee workout class. But what is a bungee fitness class? It's part aerial yoga, part TRX machine and core work, and part pretending you're a Marvel superhero. This move is creatively named frog jumps. But with only six spots in the class, I was psyched and gave it my all. The instructor stressed us how to be safe on this bouncy apparatus, but on this partner exercise, we went a little too hard and we were supposed to gently high five. I heard a crack. Hmm, <sighs> that's not good. The rest of the class, I avoided using my left hand as much as possible. You see my hand sticking out further than anyone else's because I didn't want to touch it to the sling. And while everyone else gripped the handles to hang upside down, I just slid down the bungee. What did I do to my hand? That class was so much fun. And now we're going to dinner, but I did jam my finger in the class and it hurts so badly, but I didn't say anything. I didn't want to make a fuss, um, but it's getting worse. So we'll see if it gets bruised or anything. But I highly recommend it. That class is like a combination of TRX and uh, aerial yoga. And there's a lot of cardio, there's a bit of core, um, and mostly just pretending like you're Spider-Man. It's really fun. I highly recommend it, even with the injury. I tried to sleep it off, and the next day we had plans to explore Khan. No way was I going to let a little swollen finger stop me. But by the time we caught a return tender to the ship, it was more than a little. So much, in fact, that the skin was getting stretched out and shiny. So I asked my Rockstar agent Lauren for help going to the medical center on board. We're at the medical center. So Lauren, my Rockstar agent, escorted me down and made sure I got handed off to the nurse. And they're gonna prepare the x-ray machine for my hand. And because it happened in a class, it may be an incident report. That's part of why I didn't really wanna make a fuss about it. But it still hurts and it's been 24 hours. So it's time to get it looked at and take care of myself. I did want to make it back from Khan and down here to the medical center by five-ish because I know that after six o'clock, their regular hours are closed and there's an additional fee for extra hours if it's after six. I'm guessing my stateroom credits can't be used toward medical center expenses. The nurse did the x-ray and said there's no fracture. Um, and now the doctor's gonna come in and assess what to do. If you've ever wondered what kind of equipment they have in a ship's medical center, I tried to capture as much as I could for you. I saw a vitals cart, all kinds of monitors, an oxygen machine. I saw the carrying board and a leg splint, all kinds of over-the-counter meds, and a whole case of refrigerated medication. I'm sure they could handle so many medical situations with the top level supplies that they had here. Second time's the charm. They x-rayed again just to be sure in a different position. And now they're conferring over the pictures. Congratulations. <laughs> Baby's first broken bone. Yeah. I cannot say enough about how caring the staff was in a moment where you're worried your vacation's just been ruined. All wrapped up. Still gonna party. They said it was fractured, but not dislocated. It was a suspected fracture, from what they could tell on the x-ray. Like not 100% absolute, I guess, not a technical diagnosis, but a suspected fracture still hurts a little bit to move the other fingers around it. But it's vastly better to have this immobilized. And I got sent home with medical tape and another roll of gauze, so I can replace it if it gets yucky. And some ibuprofen. This just shows how much fun I was having, right? So 
exactly what I didn't want to happen happened in that I wanted it to be minor and just, you know, take care of myself, but not make a fuss. But it happened on board the ship and they're trying to prevent future injury. So after I got my x-ray and my diagnosis and my goodies, um, they called ship security <laughs> and I waited for them who um, interviewed me and had me fill out a report. It's a little tricky to do with my finger, but um, I managed. They, they said if I couldn't do it, that was fine, or if I wanted to get someone else to come write for me, but I managed. Um, they were a little intense because I was, I was seated and it was two guys who were standing and it kind of felt a little scary at first, but I, I, I tried to make humorous jokes that they were like, well, we're just trying to make sure everybody doesn't get hurt again. So um, the jokes didn't make them jokey. Um, it's okay. It, it, I wasn't in trouble. I wasn't in trouble. They even had a body cam on to record the interview, which was a little nerve wracking. But then one of the security guards asked if he could come to the studio with me to point out where the incident happened and show where the apparatus was. And they asked me like, what shoes were you wearing? And what happened with the other person? And did you tell the instructor and, and all this stuff? And I gave him all the details and hope it was helpful. And I really tried to make light of it because it was just an accident. Um, but that's my experience of going to the medical center. <laughs> I was really impressed with how kind everyone was. The nurse was fantastic. The doctor was very nice. Um, I, I managed to leave the medical center itself right around six o'clock when they close for normal hours and um, managed to get back to my room now about 6.30. So that took about an hour and 15 minutes, a little bit of a pain, but did the right thing, took care of myself, and now we're ready to party the rest of the cruise away. Um, I can unwrap this. So um, I think I'm gonna wear it tomorrow in the uh, thermal suite in the spa, but I'll probably take it off to swim um, on our beach day, I might take it off to get in the hot tub. He said take it off to shower and then put it back on. So I just have to do my best not to use it when the splint is off because I don't want to move it and dislocate. The The fracture right now is not, it's not dislocated or, or it's very well aligned still. So it should heal okay. Um, but I am supposed to go see an orthopedic doctor once I get home for a proper treatment plan. This should hold me over for the next week. I hope you guys are staying well. I hope that your trip is injury free, but if it's not, here's what you can expect at the medical center. It's a pretty good experience. Honestly, everybody at Virgin takes care of you all the way down to the medical team. Have a great vacation guys. We'll see you next time travelers.